Welcome to a new test and teardown video. This time, yeah, I think it's a DIY or a one-off or a, a very low volume production unit. I went to an old film studio sound overdubbing um, yeah, studio where they added and edited and handled all the sounds for all the old, old movies. And the fun thing is, <laughs> we went, we spent the whole day just emptying everything, like two van loads and two car loads full of uh, funky equipment. And I got a whole car load for my channel, so that is, of course, super nice. Uh, the previous video, uh, the radio meter, was also from this facility. And you can, of course, recognize the meters. So what I think is, maybe this one it was a special... Maybe radio meter made this one for... Yeah, for the film recording studio or something like that. So what this unit here is doing is... Photocelle, that means uh, optical sensor. So in the old days, audio, that was actually an individual track on the film that went bright and uh, modulated with the audio. So I believe inside this one there is a an amplifier. Maybe this is just volume. That will be your headphones so you can check out the whatever. So there's also a distortion detector. See? For lightning, that means distortion, and this is just adjustment. And then this is, I think it has something to do with the frequency range. So, so this is too high and too low frequency content. So there will be a filter where it detects this, and then you can adjust for that somehow. I don't know. I don't know what the banana is there for. I don't know whether this is some sort of output or whatever it is. This is just some DB things, and I don't know if you can see this, but it is just huge and heavy. I can just barely lift this thing on the table, and I'm not a little baby, so <laughs> I don't know. It's really, really heavy. I don't expect us to be able to play with it or anything like that, but let's open and inspect. That is beautiful. Filter spoiler. So that's a yeah, filter choke for high voltage rectifier. I bet there's a transformer in here. And there's probably also another transformer inside this one. This one is also an audio transformer. See? Output transformer. Some impedances and some stuff like that. And this one is also a signal transformer and uh, yeah we got a lot of tubes that one the ECC 40 a dual triode and we got two of them that is a new one and it's a rim lock I don't have this one in my collection so that is really really good high voltage Voltage regulator, the ECC82, very, very common. Looks like this one. It's been running a million hours. Look at that. <laughs> Another rim lock. Uh, high voltage rectifier, AC40. And, uh, yeah, those are rim locks. All these, that is nice. EF40. That will be for all the filters. And the meters got, of course, for connections like that. So here we go. 5 dB is 4.36 volts. And the, this one means, of course, for the light. So that is why we have those extra connections for the light. 
I believe the lambs there are quite rare and they always don't work and they are of course not mounted which is a little bit annoying because I really need those to repair old radiometer equipment with so that is really bad yeah let's try and open they they definitely did not try to save weight <laughs> also the case was really thick and solid and look at this it's what is that four millimeter thick if we look at the mechanical construction here all the different holes and wires and drill this and drill that of course this is some sort of a diy or a prototype or something like that but it looks like it's not some home you know hobby dude kind of quality level this is made by somebody that knows what they're doing so it could definitely be something a radio meter would have done but because also those are exactly the same meters the same everything that they are using as well so all those flying components like that it's look very experimental what are we doing here playing around that will be the attenuator settings this one looks a little bit scary so this is mains entry and some sort of a mains uh, mains switch but, uh, maybe i don't know exactly ah oh yeah now i know now i know ah man this is the power on indicator it's just somebody unscrewed this one and there was a really really nice and beautiful neon bulb in here and this is of course missing for whatever sad sad reason because i kind of collect these special sexy <laughs> indicators i don't know exactly why i do that but i really i just really like this kind of old look and uh yeah, we also had a tube missing and here's the reason they are not using that tube any anymore so for whatever reason that is we never know very very good and that transformer got a lot of inputs and outputs connected to it and also that will be the is that the rectifier or something like that we got some really cool capacitors going on here oil oil capacitor and look at that 3.6 0.6 0.25 don't you just love it yeah this one is also 0.25 but that is real funny to look inside a some sort of a low volume prototype tube based fantastic product that is definitely some sort of a ground connection going on here and then you just connect everything while you're going on so there's a, another filter choke another little transformer for some stuff <laughs> what is, is oh that's a, probably some diodes or something like that so that will be the headphone output and look at the yellow wires they go to this transformer right here so this is the output transformer for driving only the headphones it's not driving any anything else really and it's this tube is doing that how cool is that and here is of course high voltage on one side connected to 
all the high voltage stuff some voltage goes from one capacitor to the other one and so on so it's nicely filtered and then it goes to the audio amplifier system they probably had the idea they needed two of them to do a push-pull circuit but a single-ended uh, output driver here was probably enough So that is of course the big hefty mains power transformer and we got plus minus 300 volts 60 milliamps and two times 6.3 2 amp and 1 amp and that is the official voltage for the good old times 220 and there is no other input voltages selectable at least not here from the top and here is the other thing. Look at that. What is this? Is this an inductor or something? It's... What is that? So... Three plates of some very interesting metal. I believe this is called Mu metal. So this is uh, magnetically shielding. Uh, this is just probably normal steel. In here we got a filter choke, probably for the low frequency ranges, and there will be inductors for the higher frequencies. So there will be all sorts of. Imagine you need some sort of filters, just like Dolby or something like that, for this optical sound system to recreate a good. Uh, audio quality or something like that. I don't know. I really would like to look at that. See how the metal here is put in there. That is some beautiful 